Hello and welcome to the newsroom. I am Fola Shadi Ogrinde. Protesters on Tuesday continued their agitations against police brutality and high-handed operations of the Federal Special Anti-Robbery Squad, SAS. River State, Oyo State and Enugu are some of the new states where the protest is ongoing today. In Enugu, the protesters gathered early in the morning and matched major streets in the city. Police officers can be seen on ground to provide protection for the protesters. Resident of Potar Court also defied the ban by the state governor, Nyeso Mwike, warning against any such gatherings in River States. A former senator from Zamfara West Senatorial District, Yusha Arika, is dead. Arika, Arika died in a hospital in Abuja on Tuesday after suffering from a heart problem. He was aged 70. The deceased brother, Sani Arika, said funeral prayers will be conducted later today in line with Islamic rights at the National Mosque, Abuja. Arika served as a senator from 1999 to 2007. He was the chairman of the Senate Committee on Ethics, Foreign Affairs and Police Affairs. The Academic Staff Union of Nigerian Universities, ASU, has presented a new payroll system for its members to the leadership of the Senate. The new system called University Transparency and Accountability Solution, UTAS, has been recommended by the union to replace the Integrated Payroll and Personal Information System, IPPIS, being used by the federal government workers. The chairman of the union, Biodun Oguyemi, disclosed this after a meeting with the Senate President, Hamed Lawan, on Monday. He said that UTAS should be used by the federal government to effect transparency and accountability in the process of payment of lecturers and emulants. Coordinator of the Pres uh, Presidential Tax Force on COVID-19, Sani Aliyu, has raised alarm over possibilities of escalating positive cases of COVID-19 as the international airport prepares for full reopening. He explained that with a projection of about 7,000 passengers coming into the country daily, there is a probability of about 1.5% of the population testing positive to COVID-19. Aliyu stressed that with full reopening translating to about 100 potential positive cases daily, there is a need to take urgent steps to avoid a second wave of the infections. The federal government plans to settle the electricity bills of its ministries, departments and agencies with 5 billion naira and offset the debts of local contractors with 15 billion naira in 2021. This was contained on a deserved and wide and vote section of the 2021 appropriation bill that was submitted to the National Assembly by President Muhammad Buhari. It also plans to settle ex-workers of the defunct Nigeria Airways with 5.75 billion naira next year. An American man who was arrested and led by a row by two white Texas police officers has sued the U.S. city of Galveston for $1 million in damages, as lawyer told reporters on Monday. Donald Neely was detained for trespassing in August 2019 by two mountain police officers who handcuffed him, tied a rope to his restraints and led him away. The image caused outrage, serving as a painful reminder of some of the bleakest moments in Af America's brutally racist past. And in sport, three days after falling 0-1 to current African champions, Desert Foxes of Algeria, in a friendly match, the Super Eagles will again face another tricky tie, this time against Tunisia in Austria. Today's big game is coming about 14 months after the Connaught Raw led Eagles defeated the Carthage Eagles in their bronze medal, medal match of the Al Salam Stadium in Cairo. NFF officials confirmed yesterday that a fresh round of COVID-19 tests was conducted on Eagles players and coaches yesterday, which all returned negative. And that's it on the newsroom, Adesar. Thank you for watching.